Lockwood does it. The only thing that was missing from the resume for Jen was going to the College Cup, and BYU did it, got to the National Championship game, dramatic penalty kicks in both those matches, and she now joins us on BYU Sports Nation. Congratulations on winning Coach of the Year. That's a big deal here, especially with this year at BYU. Thank you. Yeah, it's a huge honor for sure, especially with the success of all of our coaches here, all of our programs. It was an amazing year, and we feel honored and obviously share this with my staff, with Brent and Steve and and uh, Rach and Maddie, um, a lot of people uh, behind the scenes making it all happen for us. I haven't officially confirmed this, but I believe Tom Homo has some sort of bonus for you in your next contract. <laughs> I'll, 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 hold, I'll hold you to that. I'm sure that was... I don't know. I, I've never heard of that, but hey, I'll Tom's take it. Tom's going to text me right now and be like, exactly. hey, hey, stop handing out bonuses. That would be fantastic. I would hope a college cup was baked in uh, yeah. to the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, Sorry, I feel good. a little underdressed. I, oh, no. I had to come we, straight from the soccer camp. Listen, well, last day. you have a real job, Jeff. <laughs> you have to actually work, unlike us. It's true. But you guys we, look We just sharp. talk about you that. You look yeah. good. You look good. Have you come down from the accomplishment of what last season was and what it meant to you and the team? Because, like I said, that was the only thing missing from your resume was getting to a college coach. Yeah. No, I just – I just, I still can feel it. It's just that excitement. Um, you know, you work your whole life to kind of get to something like that, especially as a coach. You know, your goal is always to win a national championship, get to the final four. We've been really close so many times, We've had so many great teams over the years, but a truly special season for us with some amazing young women playing and representing and taking us throughout that journey. And like I said, an, an amazing staff that's been extremely supportive of me and um, helping me kind of navigate through the COVID time. And think about it, COVID actually allowed us to put this team together and, and made this whole thing possible as frustrating as that whole situation was. So no, I think we're all still on a high. You know, we start our season in a week and a half and, uh, <laughs> and everybody's just oh ready. We're, we're finishing our last week of camps that we've been doing the whole month of June and July. And, and so it's fun. We get to talk a lot of it with our, about it with our campers and kind of share that excitement of the season and our players are all there. So I'm um, really, really grateful, uh, really humble for everything that's happened to us this last year and appreciate the, the, the recognition. Yeah, this is the appropriate way to put the bow on last season. But right before you begin another yeah, we, season. Yeah. We thought about doing August 5th right before the blue <laughs> light game, but we, we chose a couple weeks before. So, I mean, obviously, you lose Michaela Coulihan and Cameron Tucker and Cassidy. I mean, so many just vital players on your mm -hmm. team. You're like, well, how do we replace all of those? But I'm looking at your roster that you're bringing back, and I'm yeah. like, they're going to be good again. Like, yeah, what for you, sure. That's what, the plan. What's the key? What's the key to, like, continuing to just reload? Well, you know, we just make sure that we're recruiting the right kids um, who are fantastic players. And, and um, you know, of that group that played uh, in the national championship game, um, seven of them return. Yeah. And so we have a lot of experience, even though we were we were pretty young. We had this great senior leadership last year, and obviously they're a huge loss, but we have a lot of experience returning. And then you add an amazing freshman class um, to our group, um, who all, six, seven of the eight graduated early. They joined us in January. Oh, so wow. they trained with us all January, played in 10 spring games. And so I think there's a lot of excitement. Um, I think people might not be expecting too much from us with, with losing those great players, but uh, our goals will be the same. Um, we expect to be really good, so we're excited. Jamie Shepard informed us she's going to move from the 6 to the 10, the attacking mm -hmm. midfielder spot, um, which she, I guess, played growing up, yes. uh, she said. Mm -hmm. What kind of difference will we see in her game this year in a different position? Yeah, Jamie's had a phenomenal career for us uh, up to this point. Started every game as a freshman and a sophomore at the six. I think last year she was one of the best sixes in the country. Um, she has tremendous vision and composure. But Jamie is also is kind of a natural attacking player. We kind of had to reel her back a little bit. She had to sit in that pocket. Um, but I've, we have a lot of confidence in her moving forward. She likes to go forward. She likes to, to get in front of the goal. Um, you know, it, it is a big adjustment just because it's a, it's a whole different role, lots of different decisions that have to be made. She, she'll have a lot more people hanging on her, similar yeah. to what Kayla had to get used to her junior and senior year. There's always someone on a 10 um, and usually two or three people in your way. Um, but, you know, Jamie's our captain. She's our leader. Uh, she has the most experience out there, and um, we're, we're excited for her to, to fill into that new spot. Well, well-deserved individual honor for you and, and in an incredible year for just BYU athletics overall. And, and you guys, uh, you're homies. Like, the coaches are hang out. Yeah. You guys actually interact. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that that's extremely common. Maybe mm -hmm. it is at other schools. But you guys are 
Price. Yeah, yeah. You know, we have a great camaraderie for sure uh, with the head coaches. And, and for us, uh, you know, several of them came out to that national championship game, which that was, a cool was, photo. was really, really amazing yeah. to have and feel that kind of support mm. from, from all of them. And, and even during the regular season coming to our games and throughout the NCAA tournament to see those coaches supporting us. And we just have such great people at BYU who get to work with such fantastic student athletes. And so, you know, we just, I think we're all trying to do our best to, to, to raise the bar to be the best that we can. And, and hopefully that's the best in the country and represent well. You're our coach of the year, and it only feels fitting that we should transition to our team of the year award with Jen Rockwood. Which is set. women's soccer. Congratulations. Yeah. You wow. should be the team of the year when you go to the national championship <laughs> game. That Virginia game felt huge because that's the team that beat you the year before. Mm -hmm. You beat them there. Suddenly you come home for the Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. And there was no chance yeah. that you were going <laughs> to lose that game. Like there yeah. was no, ch uh, no chance. It was mm -hmm. awesome. Well, there were so many things that led up to us being in that Elite Eight because, yes. you know, the one seed North Carolina lost in the first round, which just never happens in the history of women's soccer. Um, USC was at home and they got upset. So when we were at Virginia, even before knowing that there was an opportunity to reinter back to Southfield. Well, you we, knew. We knew that if we could, we were going to yeah. do, it didn't matter who we played, that that, that that would be awesome. It was the vengeance tour, too. It was the vengeance yes. tour. Virginia, then yes. South Carolina. South Carolina knocked us out uh, Ashley's senior year. Yeah. We had such a great team that year and, and lost on a, on a PK um, and felt we, you know, ha were the better team and should have been able to get that result. But um, we took it to them. You know, great program and a great season. And but us on Southfield in that situation with our fan base behind us. Forget about uh, it. We played some great soccer that night. What a fun memory. Well, a sincere congratulations from Thank us you. and from all of BYU Athletics to you as the coach of the year, coaching the team of the year. So well deserved. Thanks, guys. Thanks, really Jen. Appreciate it. Jen Rockwood with us for the Y Awards on BYU Sports Nation. And that wraps up the Y Awards. What?